what really is uh, something uh, very very uh, inspiring and notable is their uh, uh, efforts to create an instrumental body they have been pioneers in that yeah. they have worked a lot on this especially in carnatic music there is no instrumental dani as such Correct. but there is only a vocal dani yes so it's all very composition centric which is all right that also uh, ganesh being such a gifted vocalist uh, so that also comes very beautifully to them but uh, their efforts to go beyond and through series and pieces like raga pravaham which really brought out the 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 strength of the instrument it was the violin which led them to create a new personality a new style of music and that's something uh, such a cool idea and yes. i think ganesh kumar is having the forefront of uh, pioneering such uh, creative work pravah see as we were getting into this um, art form understanding learning more and more compositions uh, learning to play the violin going through different octaves playing multiple phrases understanding the sound of the art form suddenly one realization stunned me why not bring out the beauty of the instrument as it is why can't violin sound as violin and still be within the grammar of the art form the grammar for carnatic music is raga and taala so with that tool raga and taala we can create magnificent compositions for each instrument and they can, we can present it in violin i can comfortably play four octaves from lower sa to higher sa but whereas i am restricted to play only one and a half octaves in the present scenario so the the want to explore want to understand want to unravel want to bring in new thought process want to break the dogma wanting to break the uh, what to say the uh, uh the illusion made us bring out compositions tailor made for the violin it's our music is so beautiful because it is uh it's completely to do with the oral energy or oral vibration that um, that the music creates so raga pravagam is that kind of a concept in which we are bringing the cultural essence of our music and that's what raga pravagam is it's some total of many things but uniquely you can say that it's instrumental music so so we can ask me why raga pravagam um there you can uh, go to my younger days when i when i was sitting down with my violin and playing with abundant energy and you know lot of uh, joy i used to play and many of the times we since we uh, uh, we end up doing lot of la- raga alapana practice phrases phraseology practices then uh, thalam oriented practices these are all not related to composition but just the raga and its improvisational forms so when when i when you, when i used to play a long hours i used to come up with these with these wonderful lines <laughs> wonderful i mean that's what i felt because i felt lot of joy in creating them and whenever i used to play it for my dad or uh, my uh, brother they would all appreciate as to this is this sounds good and all that so that's how the chitta swarams and all that came in because i when i did my chitta swarams it was all over the octaves like from the lower octave to the higher octave so 
when it was played along with the kritis it sounded uh, really different uh, you i was trying to give a different dimension to the kriti itself by playing that by playing the instrumental dimension of the kriti and same way with the sangatis i used to play around with sangatis where we we um, i used to go down and go up and you know um, make it little fun for us to play together anna had created many compositions earlier so and uh, i told him one day come on ganesha we should play this in concerts that will be that much more meaningful at one point uh, kumari said we should do this as uh, as an album or as a concert and all that then we started aligning with lot of our friends who used to play the keyboard um, uh, other instruments uh, like uh, guitar and bass guitar and you know like drum kit and we used to jam and do also concerts and all that uh then uh, it was um, uh, it, one fine day we thought why not play all these compositions in uh, concerts especially these uh, something like flights of fantasy and all that when we started playing in concerts actually it was i was kind of not very sure how the audience will take um, i i was not very confident of playing it but it was kumaresh you would say would audience ex- accept we ha- we used to have these conversations should we try because it is all it is um, something very new which nobody has tried before and uh, when we do something which is not part of the uh, accepted format because all these compositions did not have the format of a varnam a kriti a kirtana a swarajati or a tillana or ragantanam pallavi it had a very different structure would they accept There's only one way to try. Play. We had planned one uh, full concert with a theme, like you know, morning to evening, one whole day, the journey of a day and night. so in that we had prepared a list of these compositions which had uh, actually just the ragam part of it instrumental pieces instrumental compositions so just before we went into stage um, i remember jayanti coming up and uh, telling anna why don't you name something for all the compositions that you are you are doing you name it raga pravagam it sounds very good because it's uh, uh, pravagam is you know i mean uh, a uh, flow of and the flow of ragas and um, and it sounds very beautiful why don't you have that name music flows through these ragas on the violin specially composed for the violin we used to play multiple octaves and we can do exchange also since we were two musicians playing two violinists as duo we used to bring in vadi sambadhi concept into that that was something which nobody had tried before that's what it is i mean uh, i think i mean the more we played uh, we were able to connect with the audience in a very very different way um, and some people had a lot of things to say about it many of them you know many of them uh, even now say uh, that it's something that's uh, very futuristic and that is where the instrumental music music is going I still remember one uh, one capsule we did for Doordarshan. We had done a composition in Ranjani Raga, a very difficult Anna's composition, very uh, uh, actually very difficult composition to play on the violin. And uh, we had played it. The beauty was we got two calls. One was from a Rasika. He said. what are you doing how can you play ranjani like this there are such wonderful composition dunmar kachara or ranjani niranjani can't you play all that why are you playing like this why are you doing this this is destruction of carnatic music blah blah and all that they said and uh, me and ganesh were looking though those days we didn't have mobile plus we had only landline so we just uh, didn't say anything we just kept the phone down next call ps nanana sami mama 
person. Raghu Mama used to come and ask us, Palagat Raghu Mama, when you are playing those fusion concerts, you think I can't play? Why don't you call me? I will also would love, love to play those concerts. See, musicians were appreciating what we were doing. It was like a great pat on our back. That was like Bharat Ratna for us. That was like multiple Pandabhushans for us. When Lal Dei Mama came and inaugurated our Colors of India, that was like a stamp saying that, yeah, what you guys are doing is right. That gave us so much of encouragement to carry this forward. So that is how this Raga Prabhagam happened. 